rely on your parents or mm. rely on your relatives back home mm. that when you take that that lady back home there then they tell you no this is not the kind for you yeah. this lady is very lazy she can't even go to the tonic uh, mm. such kinds of things it will make you fear the problem is women are evolving and True. men are staying where they are Men thinking that money is everything to a woman at this particular day and age for, I'm talking about a balanced woman, okay. not the hungry women who are looking for money yes, in course. a relationship. The balanced woman needs more than money. Hello everyone, my name is Martha and I'm very glad to be with you today. Of course, this is Decoding the Process where we talk about relationships and it's all about doing it right and at the end of the day, finding the right person and settling as we all desire. And today I am joined by a very amazing guest, of course, a man with many hats. He's a musician, he's a doctor, he's a husband, I mean, so many things at once. So he can tell us more about himself and of course, um, sit there and listen to us. We'll be glad to have you on board. Thank you very much. Karibu sana. Asante. Yes, yes, you can introduce yourself. Okay. Yes. Uh, my name's uh, Kunaza Aidi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> And yes, that is just me. Wow, that's yes. amazing. So at least you have somebody who has experience in many areas yeah. to be able to handle what we are gonna be talking about today. So just to cut it all short and go straight to the point. We have a generation of men mm -hmm. who nowadays have issues with settling down. I mean, red, I mean, sorry, the readiness of men in terms of getting married mm -hmm. compared to other things in their lives mm -hmm. is very minimal. Mm -hmm. When you look at ladies, it's very, they're always very ready, by the way. Wawa na kuanga wa mengoja, they're very prepared, they're talking about how they will raise their children, how they will take care of their men, but men are just there. So we want to just talk about what is the reasons, what are some of the reasons that really make men, you know, find it so hard to settle down. And of course, we're not saying that they are valid reasons, but we are just trying to really bring out some of the things that have, you know, prevented men from taking the step forward and really getting to, to settle down at the right time. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me just begin by the notion that uh, there's, there have been so much, let's say, male uvumi in our community now. Yeah. And uh, that has been scaring men away mm. a lot. Someone says, I need a stable man, mm. the man who is financially yeah. stable, mm. the man who is driving. Mm. You see? And you find that once you feel that kind of tension mm. or pressure from mm. the from the other gender, mm. you become so worried. Yeah. Like, so whoever I'm going to meet, <laughs> I can face the pressure. Mm. handle. And then you see the the the, the 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 state of the nation right now, even when it comes to the economic stability, mm. is worrying. Yeah. So you find that that one scares them away. Mm. And you find that uh, for for a man just to say. Now I want to settle when it comes to even getting that partner who's mm. going to understand him in his nature mm. becomes so hard. Yeah. So let me just say that is the, f the first thing that is actually making them uh, have that difficulty in settling down. Mm -hmm. And now there's this other uh, pressure that comes in also mm -hmm. uh, with the peer pressure even from the, the fellow friends. Mm -hmm. You see, you might have those friends who are married. Mm -hmm. you see, and, uh, there are those who will, will talk about that marriage positively, but there are those who will talk about that marriage negatively. Yeah. And you find those who are going to talk about it negatively in the current state, mm -hmm. there are so many. Mm -hmm. And you find that if you meet those kinds of friends, mm -hmm. when they talk about their wives, automatically it turns you off. Mm -hmm. See, And uh, more so, that kind of pressure can make you from what you listen from them. So actually what you get to listen mm -hmm. is what will make you. Yeah. So the moment you start listening to the negative side of mm -hmm. their, their wives or their families mm -hmm. or even the, the kind of trending uh, news that we watch mm -hmm. the kinds of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, marital woes mm -hmm. that are happening right now. So find these men are, are actually worried mm -hmm. that their, their, their relationships might end up like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, it depends with the friends that you also have. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Another yeah, because I feel like Apple, it's mm -hmm. about who you're surrounded with. Who you're surrounded the with. People who are actually having thriving marriages. Yes. Uh, uh, they are having a small heaven on earth, mm -hmm. literally, because yeah, they're true. having mm -hmm. the best time of their lives. True. But if you're having friends who are like that, mm -hmm. of course, at a way, <laughs> you, you, you might be ending up in the same place yeah, because true. of the same environment mm -hmm. that you're, of course, in. Yeah, so I... I agree. You get the point. Yeah, so, so it's I, all about the friends, it's not about really friends. about marriage. Yes, it's about the friends. It's about the friends. Yeah. So you find that, that those friends, as long as uh, you get to listen to them on the side of the negative, mm. you will end up being negative in this. Yeah, way. yeah. So that is one factor that uh, one needs to deal with mm. when it's on the kinds of friends that is choosing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe another factor that has been a, a bit, uh, uh, a bit a challenge. Our, our parents mm -hmm. have some expectations from us, mm. you see. So, you know, you see this man who is stable, he's mm. doing well, and then Sasahana familia, and then that is a moment when maybe your mom at home, or your shosho at home, mm. tells you, Ni and uh, you see, the kind of a woman they need back home mm. is different from what you meet in town. <laughs> <laughs> you see, mm. uh, here in town, when you go and take some groceries, mm. you find that let's go my cut already. So you just yeah. pick and, and, and go. Use. But now you see when you go home, yeah. they expect this lady to go to the shop, yeah. pick those fresh greens, yeah. prepare them, you see. We miss those kinds of, uh, those mm. kinds of, uh, of, of... But where do we get that time really? <laughs> right now people are working from what time to what time, and then what time will I get the energy to come back from work, go to the shamba? Uh -huh. You know, my parents, need, you need me as a husband, mm. my children need me. I mean, of course, of course I know you <laughs> know. That's where there are so many shortcuts, even in relationships. <laughs> <laughs> so there are times when you go to, through the long process, mm. it pays, you see. Mm. So maybe let me just say that pressure from them. It also, it also depends mm. because you see love is, is, is not like uh, someone tells you, someone chooses for you the kind of person that you need. Yeah. It's upon you to realize you need this kind of a person because mm. there is a certain standard that you have set on your own mm. that you have already said that if I need this kind of person, mm. it will. Uh, this person is going to help me go to, go to another step mm. in life. So if you rely on your parents or mm. you rely on your relatives back home, mm. that when you take that, that lady back home there, then they tell you, no, this is not the kind for you. Yeah. This lady is very lazy. She can't even go to the... Yeah, mm. such mm -hmm. kinds of things. It will make you fear. Yeah. Even getting that lady and taking them back home. Mm. So but now that one will depend on the the, 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 the kind of a person mm. uh, and the kind of environment that you are raised in. Yeah. Yeah, so let me just say uh, that is that is just another factor that may make this man mm. pressure to, for to, 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 to stabilize or to, to settle mm. in marriage. Mm. So, so what parents expect in that's short? What parents expect? Mm. Yeah. And another factor, uh, you see, nowadays women are empowered. Mm. They are really empowered. So you see, you might this you, you might meet this lady mm -hmm. who is the opposite of what other people say. Like the, what the lady say, I need mm. a financially stable man. I need a, I need a financially or maybe a a, a man who is a okay, a mature man or yeah. something. Now, this is a, an aspect whereby you've met this lady mm -hmm. who is now financially stable. <laughs> mm. Now, this lady is thriving. Yeah. Like in the way where you're middle class, you're still hustling. Mm. So, uh, when a man meets that kind of a person, mm. uh, there is that phobia whereby now, if this lady earns more than me, mm -hmm. how is the society going to look at it? See? Or if this lady uh, becomes uh, becomes the breadwinner, mm -hmm. yet I'm the man, you see? Mm. So, you know, it lowers that man's low, uh, self-esteem. Yeah, yeah, true. But now you find that some, some of these ladies who are financially stable, sorry to say, most of them really need these kinds, kind of men who are, they are actually down on earth mm. when it comes to maturity. Yes. Because you find that if you, when you meet another man who is also maybe driving, who is also thriving just like you, mm. there is a certain expectation that will be, mm. <laughs> that they'll expect you to meet. Mm. And now when they get these other people who are also, these men who are also, they, they, are, they, they know what they want in life, mm. maybe they want to settle, uh, in as much as they don't have that kind of money, which mm. maybe people look at, although money is very good in a relationship. Yeah, very, 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 important, very, important. very, very important. So when you're now watch, make sure you have money. Tafuta pesa, tafadhali. Pesa is very key. Yeah, maana hata credit lazima upige simu. Of course. Lazima. 
Relationship is costly. For example, hata wewe sahi mali uko sahi kama ungekuwa mm. pesa, ungekuwa unafanana venye uko sahi sisi ndio. So money is very key. So you find that that kind of low esteem esteem from this man mm. make them fear the fact that sasa niki settle na huyu and then mm. how about the friends of this lady mm-hmm. what are they going to look yeah. in me they mm. look like they, they look at me like maybe i'm not the kind of person this for this lady uh, or maybe if i get this lady who is also not uh, financially stable they'll demand more from mm. me mm. atataka pesa ya nywele atataka so some of them fear responsibility <laughs> but me this is what i'll say <laughs> yes regarding that point mm. the problem is women are evolving and True. men are staying where they are mm-hmm. men thinking that money is everything to a woman at this particular day and mm-hmm. age for i'm talking about a balanced woman okay. not the hungry women who are looking for money yes, in course. a relationship mm-hmm. the balanced woman mm-hmm. needs more than money yeah, so course. if a man is thinking because i'm providing i'm the man mm-hmm. they are losing it and that's the problem because mm-hmm. The, you're saying the empowered woman is becoming an issue not because mm-hmm. really being empowered is the issue but the men are not matching up to the women yeah if they can really provide more than money mm-hmm. provide the security a woman needs you know when i know i can get my own money mm-hmm. then you're null and void in my life do you have something else you're giving me as a person mm-hmm. do i have that companionship with you do i have that security from you mm-hmm. and if men can grow to that level mm-hmm. definitely marriages are going to be more stable at this particular point in time because yeah. you know women have grown sizey and mm-hmm. you know the, the the society and the industry is becoming more favorable to women mm-hmm. a woman doesn't doesn't have to pitch his mm-hmm. uh, uh, idea or anything to anyone mm-hmm. the fact that they appear somewhere people might even give them opportunities just by how they look not like mm-hmm. a man the same and way you can't put marketing people most of them are women most of them are women a man akikuja <laughs> kitu kwa mlango na mwambia mse tembeza but a woman <laughs> even if i didn't need that electronic <laughs> they, i will buy even to to encourage her okay you see look mm. at look at it this way mm. you've talked of you've talked of companionship mm-hmm. see unfortunately money has replaced companionship, companionship. See? Mm. and uh, what we need in this relationship is mm. a companion yes someone who is there with you mm. someone ata kama hauna ile pesa mm. you'll be able to even sustain yourself maybe through maybe that availability of this person yeah. to give you that care to give you that security mm. but now uh, let's let's look it at this let, let, let's look let, let's look it like this huh? mm. like you've talked of now for example those ladies who are being given this uh, promotional jobs mm. uh, no gani wana nunua hizo product sana men the men mm-hmm. see well, okay naturally men uh, they have that tunasema macho inapazia see when you get this macho zetu ziko inapazia no zetu so, zote hata wewe uko na anyway <laughs> so you find that eh? a fellow man mm. convincing a fellow man mm. to buy something Aye. or to buy a product mm. becomes hard. hard now a fellow lady convincing a fellow lady to buy a certain product is also another challenge mm. so the society has seen a woman as a, someone who can who can be trusted with a certain mm. uh, power mm. so that they can have that convincing uh, ability yeah. to be able to get what you want mm-hmm. so like now uh, i was telling someone some i was telling some other people somewhere mm. uh, there, there, there are kinds of there, there are kinds of environment mm-hmm. When you, when you put yourself into mm-hmm. there are people you'll attract there are people you will chase away yeah. see so while we were talking about these kinds of uh, aspects that are making men delay amaseme <sighs> let me wait a bit the environment that has been set there mm-hmm. has enabled this man uh, akwenele fear a fear factor kwamba now let me, let me let me wait and see if there's going to be a change mm-hmm. and now uh, There's, a, there's also this aspect of uh, competition see you don't know where this lady is coming from and uh, let me not put let, let me not say it as a competition mm-hmm. per se mm-hmm. let me say a uh, background mm-hmm. yeah actually it's the background not even the competition part mm-hmm. the background you've met this lady for the first time mm-hmm. right uh, when you are first dates and everything these are people who will just talk to you with the, not, the, just the the, the, the basic Uh, knowledge on who the person is mm. they'll not go deep into where they come from mm-hmm. what they do first date second date and then now finally uh, you come to realize 
the background of this person. Mm. So there is the fact that if this lady is coming from a, maybe a rich background mm -hmm. or a poor background or a background whereby people are polygamous or mm -hmm. people are violent, it becomes so hard for this person to come and realize, okay, now this is the kind of person I want to settle this. Because mm -hmm. there are spiritual aspects in this. Mm -hmm. when, you go, you, when you get a person whose background is, uh, is, is, is more of on the negative aspect, mm -hmm. you need to pray about it. Yeah. Yeah. When you get a person whose background okay is a bit worrying, you mm. need to pray about it. So certain backgrounds have made even men, not only men alone, even ladies even women. have mm. to put the, the, the hold part. Mm. They have to press that hold button. Mm. Unless they are very sure mm. what I've seen, what I've uh, acquired, the, the kind of history that I've gotten from this partner of mine mm. will be able to make me have that surety. Mm. If I settle with this person, then I'll be able to have that safety that I need. Mm. Yeah. So maybe those are just some of the factors. Mm. <laughs> and that is a man who's speaking. That is why we have a man on board. Mm. I know he also went through some of these pressures at mm. some point of his life. But I mean, we've said he's a husband and a father. Mm. We want to get to learn, of course, how he overcame that stage of life and managed now to, you know, of course, cross over and be a very responsible man. I attest to you, he is a responsible and present man in his life, uh, in his family. And I have seen him practically, you know, thrive in everything he does. So join us right after the break so we can learn more about that. Welcome back. And of course, this is Decoding the Process. We have been talking about the reasons why men find it hard to settle. And we have mentioned just but a few just before the break, which you can go back and really check on if you have joined us at this point. But most importantly, um, there's one aspect I want us to just um, talk about in a very, very few seconds, the financial issue, because many men talk about the fact that I have to be stable because I'm the main breadwinner, which sometimes I wonder where it was written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. If a man should be, I feel like God blessed both of these people to come in the other things are cultural and we have brought them into you know marriage without really having the christian basis god has given us all the ability to create wealth but most importantly why does the financial issue make men fear settling down and of course nowadays it's more than that it's i have to have this maybe a house maybe land maybe a vehicle i don't want my wife to be walking around yeah you know yeah just talk about that okay now you see uh, the reason why men fear the financial instability mm -hmm. uh, is because even the standards that have been set by even the ladies mm. up there cannot give them that peace of mind mm. to be able to say now, ah, Niko to comfortable mm -hmm. But thank you for the fact that you've mentioned every person was created mm. to create wealth. Actually, they are given the ability to create wealth. Yes. Now, we forget the helper part, mm. Sana. Mm. So the helper part, because a woman was created to be a helper. Mm. Now the helper in the current community yes. is different mm. in the way the way the, the Bible has put it. Mm -hmm. We are the, the ladies have put it in this manner that it's only the man who is supposed to be bringing, and then mm. now the lady is supposed to be washing the clothes, mm. washing the utensils, you see, taking care of the household, whatever. But now, uh, if we go by what a helper means. Mm just to make the man who fears the instability part. Mm -hmm. uh, it is always good to understand that if at all you are in a, in a financial instability, you are financially unstable, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of pers person that you need, mm -hmm. you have to make that person come to a level of understanding of your state. You see, yeah. if this person can understand your state, mm -hmm. then you are good to go. Mm -hmm. But if at all the, 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 the level has been raised to that high bar, mm -hmm. Kwamba, any woman you meet, any lady you meet, mm. you have to have this, you have to have this. But of course, there are things that are a man, something that makes a man be a man mm -hmm. is to be stable. You, see? Mm. you have to be, you can be stable financially, yeah. you can be stable in mind, mm. you can be stable, especially the, the, the most important part is being stable financially and spiritually. Mm -hmm. Those are the key ones. And also, uh, being stable even in decision making mm. so i think if if you're stable in those aspects you're and then of course being able to lead yes. the thing is um making decisions of course is something that god 
expects the man to do. Yes. At the end of the day, he is the leader of the house. Mm -hmm. But what we're just trying to say is at least have the basic needs. Yeah. Provide the basic needs. You don't need so excessively a lot. And as mm -hmm. you have said, which is true, find a partner who understands yes. where you're at and you can work together. Mm -hmm. Stop forcing yourself into people who, of okay, course, you know, will give you so much pressure yeah. for no reason. <laughs> I mean, there are people out here who are able to help you. And in fact, they say, the, the Bible says, you find favor. And many men have actually seen how their lives have become Actually, much better yes. when the woman came in their lives. I've been an example. Yeah, yes. so, so just, um, it, it's good. It's good to, to really understand each other. And all we are saying is provide the basic needs. The rest will come to be. So we want to just encourage these guys in a short while, in maybe three minutes or so. I mean, out of all these things, just tell us from you being one of the young men who was able to overcome that state and tell them how they can just encourage them. Tell them beyond these reasons that they can be able to still, you know, yeah, get over and have a successful marriage. Aha. Uh -huh. So let me start with the fear factor. Mm -hmm. finances mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you know getting a partner who can understand you mm -hmm. uh, you remember in the creation story Adam was asleep, was asleep and then uh, Eve was created during his sleep so when when sin came this uh, the same same Adam was asked by God why did you do this first answer that came out of his mouth was mm. this woman you gave me. Yes. I didn't ask you for this woman. Mm -hmm. See? That's why we are having the kind of struggle mm. to find the right partner. Because God said, okay, <laughs> if you can't say sorry, then go and look for your own woman. Mm. Because if I give you, you're complaining. you're complaining. We have to understand that is where the problem is coming from. Mm -hmm. So, you have to keep seeking until you find. Mm -hmm. See? So, that man who Fears the fact that okay, I'm not able to find this person. Maybe mm -hmm. God is going to bring. There is no God is going to bring for you. It's you to get that person, yeah. and make that person the kind of the person you want to be, even to want to live with mm -hmm. your entire life. Mm -hmm. So, get when you get the right partner. Mm -hmm. Of course, you find someone who can support your idea, mm -hmm. can stand in with you, can be able to understand that kuna time where wa una, kuna time you have, mm -hmm. can be able to grow you even spiritually, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, someone might be asking, where do we find such people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can meet your partner, your partner anywhere. Yeah. And uh, let me give a scenario whereby you found a partner who is maybe drunk. Mm -hmm. I'll give my brief story. It's just for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. I found my wife uh, at, a, at, at a place that was not spiritual. Mm -hmm. she, was, she was not the kind of the person who I would wish to have. Mm -hmm. But I learned day by day to understand her and to make her the kind of person I wanted her to be. Mm. She used to take alcohol. Mm. But now, with the time, I tried to mold her into the woman. Right now, as you speak, she's the best woman I really wanted to, mm. to be with. So you find that person, Munyana Sema, I need a financial stable man, mm. I need this and this. And prayer works miracles. Mm. When you come to a point where by the background of that person is not that encouraging or is not giving you that, you have that power to break that altar. Mm. Once you pray, altars are broken. Yeah. So if you can pray over that kind of a, of, of a relationship, God is going to make it mm -hmm. out for you. Mm -hmm. And another aspect whereby people are, are so much worried about uh, is the part that uh, uh, getting a woman for example, uh, from, from the pressure that people are telling, maybe your parents are telling you, get this kind of a lady, get this kind of a person. Uh, when you listen to people so much, when you listen to people so much, you are, there are high chances that you are going to make a big mistake of your own life. Yeah. Remember, the person you are choosing, it's not them who are going to stay with that person mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. It is you who is going to stay with that person mm -hmm. forever. So you know what you want. You know what you want. Mm -hmm. The weaknesses that you are going to get, the strength that you're going to get, you're going to share with this person. Yeah. And I always say, if you're in a kind of a relationship whereby maybe the parents to the lady are not for you, or maybe the parents to your man are not for you, anytime you get into a quarrel, anytime you get into a situation, maybe the secret will be, wewe manaume, when you have any issue with your wife, please report the issues to the wife's parents. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Manamke, if you have issues with your husband, report that husband to his parents. Let it be vice versa. So that there's that there's not that kind of quakina manamke. They see like this man is bad. So whenever you visit that place you are the you are the bad guy. Yeah. So when you learn that there are so many uh, there are so many obstacles you're going to overcome. So basically those are kinds of uh, solutions that you can have mm -hmm. and to understand that marriage works. One thing that you need to get is to understand that marriage works. And marriage works only if you want it to work. Yeah. If you don't want it to work, then listen to people. Or believe everything you hear. Mm -hmm. Then you'll get the kind of the negative part, the yeah. part that you've been thinking mm -hmm. yeah, has been happening. Wow, that yes. is amazing. I mean, he has said what is important. But most importantly, we just want to tell people, find your sink. You know how to work things out with your partner. Mm -hmm. You might find it easy to talk to the mother of the of your wife True. somebody else might find it easier to just sort it within them if mm. not so maybe their closest friend maybe they are feeling like involving their parents mm. might be tricky we're just saying find out how you can do things with your partner that's just an example which is also a very good example which can be applied but most importantly what we are trying to say and because we were speaking to the men today just um grow women are growing women are being empowered mm -hmm. women are growing and the problem we can't we can't just leave it at that point because the same women who are being empowered are the ones who are going to marry these men who are not empowered so we still get back to zero mm -hmm. so grow yourselves become better people and you will be more attractive compared to all these other things you're thinking that will make you attractive to these women just to become outstanding become different become this man who has built himself so much that any woman who's empowered is attracted to you because of your inner self otherwise we are so glad you guys joined us today he has talked about so much and we believe there could be so much more that you guys think you can of course comment down below because we know that we can't exhaust everything we have very very many things we can discuss but within the time frame we have we had to just talk about that and thank you very much mr david much thank you very much um that was good that was a nice story thank you yes thank you. although that might not work for everyone <laughs> but yeah. i loved the story that is true you find your sink we, we are not saying you can change someone but you can mold them, you, you know. Them. You can help them become a better yeah. person. You can never change. Even you changing yourself is a difficult task. Yeah, so how do you change somebody else? Very mm -hmm. difficult. So we love, I love the fact that you talked about one thing men have been given the ability to, to yes. actually give life from yes. their wife to their kids. That is the fatherhood part of a man. Yes. That is the only way you can be a successful father. Otherwise, guys, we can talk on and on. Thank you very much for joining us today. And of course, every other Tuesday on this um, platform at Wema TV, 9.45 p.m. And this is Decoding the Process. My name is Martha Mora. Have a blessed evening. Mm -hmm.